Hello everyone, I'm Japanese Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Victoria 2, playing, of course, as Japan. So, we are a partially westernized nation. Last time we took Korea away, fully annexed them, pretty much into our country, and we beat the Chinese on continental Asian soil. So, right now, we have a little bit of infamy, which is... Eh, it's okay, but I want to play it safe, okay? We're playing it safe. I'm not going to strike right into China away. I will, my goal is to take huge swaths of China eventually in this campaign, at least attempt to, uh, but we have to wait until we're westernized to fully do that. That being said, uh, people, someone said from yesterday's video, I should try to go to Sokoto and take West Hausa land somewhere around here, or at least that's what, that's what some meta gamers do in Victoria too. Uh, actually, Hausa land's right there, east, Bornu. That's, if that's east, this is west. Ish. Cool. So they take, I know, areas down here. I'm not playing with HFM or HPM. This is just, I said vanilla, Victoria 2. This is really just, you know, Heart of Darkness with both DLCs in because there's no Yellow Prussia here. Because if you have no, if this is pure vanilla, you would have Yellow Prussia, which is disgusting. Ugh. But, like I said, last time we took these guys out. And our armies are coming back from China. And I want at least three, maybe four armies here. On the Korean, on the, <clears throat> the Japanese Chinese border, yeah, Japanese Chinese border here, just in case the Chinese ever get a little anxious against us. So, right now, we have 65% westernization progress. We need 35 more percent, which we could get if we, you know, do these military reforms. We get 10% there, 10% here, 10%, 10%, 10%, probably 10%. So, We'll probably have to do a few economic reforms. I do want to go to War with Brunei, which will be important. Go to War with Brunei so we get some more research points. And kind of because I could take them out more easily than Dai Nam because they're allied with Chinese Empire, Cambodia, Burma. A little difficult. And they don't have as many states, even though we won't get all of North Borneo. But a reason why I want to do that is just because I've been told that, you know what, places with... This, this might be really important later on. So, we might want to support them. I might go to War with Siam eventually, too. Unless the UK gets involved, and then, which in case, I'm like, no, no, no. But, and this is a huge but, I will want to do reforms that help us, and that literally give us technology, such as advanced constructions. Which gives us the post-Napoleonic thought, which allows us to build forts, which is really cool. Right now, I'm keeping it on my budget, because we can tax the hell out of our people for now. With high stuff here, with high tariffs and high taxes. And, and, which doesn't make him too angry, which is awesome. Which is really, really awesome. And uh, before we do go too far, I still want to make sure that we have enough uh, research points and get a lot more literacy for our people. Uh, that's okay. Water technology, water wheel power. I might save up stuff for early industrialization. Uh, I love education efficiency. I love, love, love getting edu edu education stuff. I think it's super, super important. But this doesn't give us any tech. And I want to get as much tech done as possible. Because we're already behind. It's only 1842. But I want to get as much tech as humanly possible. So, uh, you know what? Just stockpile the tea. That'll be good. We're not making a lot of money. That's okay. We can actually lower our stuff like here for now. I think that'd be okay. I want to make a ton of money. Because I want to build my roads up as much as possible. Uh, don't take both of you. There you go. There you go. Four armies are there. That's good. Keep one army here. I'm making more divisions, or more, uh... Not armies. Well, I want to make more armies, but you're just... A brigade? A division? Not a division. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, they can support seven brigades. Okay. So these are brigades. Uh, that's a little bit too much for me, not gonna lie. Don't come there. Come back to... Here. Come here. Because... I'm gonna have you... Stay in our capital. Because... I want them, just in case, to put down any sort of rebellions. You know, Japan is pretty peaceful right now. But I don't want to get caught with my pants down usually and then have a bunch of rebels we're going to have to exterminate. So, and I doubt we'll have rebels right now. But in Korea, we probably will. So, you do that. And I will create a Korean army here too to help put down stuff. But it's always good to keep an eye on them. Reform, I would love to have that so much. But I think... Uh, you know what? We're going to go to war anyways, and we'll probably get enough experience points or research points to westernize. So, you know what? Maybe reformed. It's 15%. 15 plus 65 is usually 80. And then after that, we can probably just go straight for this one. So let's get reform system. More education for the peoples. It only pissed a few people off, and that's okay. And our ships, are they repairing? Oh, uh, 
is this a port yet? It's not a port yet. We need steel. If that's okay, I can afford buying... We got a lot of money right now. So I can afford a little bit more steel, which is in very high demand. More steel. I want a lot of steel. Lots and lots of steel. Uh, construction stuff. You know what? Spend more on construction. So be it. Whatever. Oh, we got some rebels. Oh, pff, Koreans, you know. Oh, build some rate. Yeah, just build. We have money now. I don't know how long we're going to have money, but just build, build, build. And I want to make sure that we have way less infamy before we start just to play on Brunei. Way less. Because 22 infamy is a lot. See, exactly. We got a couple reactionaries here. And... If they want to rebel, you know, they have the option to. I'm just going to make sure I kill every single one of them when they, you know, rise up. Let's see. Krakow. Yeah, European stuff. We don't care about the European stuff. And I want to station an army down in Okinawa, too, just in case. Oh, before we forget. Clergy. How is the clergy doing in Chubu? Not bad, not bad. So I was thinking also, I did say I want to take out large chunks of the Chinese Empire, especially, like, Port Arthur. That sounds really cool to get. Or even like Hainan or Guangdong or some stuff like down here. But what if I took out like Oman and then jumped to Egypt to take out Ethiopia? How cool would it be to have Japanese Ethiopia? I think it'd be cool. Could be wrong, but I think that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, over here. Of course, railroads. We can invest the money in them, but we don't have the resources that we want for them. Uh oh, what's going on here? Oh boy, oh, their strength is going down. Oh, what do we need? Artillery and clipper convoys. Oh, I hate being a partially westernized nation. Clipper convoys, which, I mean, we're already trying to get more of. We can raise it up a little bit more. And artillery pieces. Artillery is going to be so important throughout the rest, throughout the entire campaign. I don't even have artillery. If I can make get some artillery, that'd be great. Oh, and we have way too many divisions there. Oh, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. I'm going to assume it's like, that would be okay. You guys, come to the capital. Oh, wait. What do you guys... Oh, come to Kagoshima then. Oh no, come to Nagasaki actually. Pull you guys over here. Pull you guys. Yeah, you're already off. Yeah, good. It's gonna stay there. Uh, you don't need to do that since we already have one guy here. You guys come down to here then. Uh, or Okinawa. Go to. Yeah. You guys come there. There you go. Cool, and just come back here, because I really want a port here. <gasps> We're building a port, so we can make sure that we can repair our ships, because that's that's not good. No, Saxony entered an alliance with Prussia. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Keep an eye on that. Very good, very good. Uh, 24 divisions, not bad. And once we have artillery, I'm going to drastically alter our uh, template here. You know, I'm going to keep this money as long as I can, because I don't know how long we're going to have all this stuff, all these funds. Anything over here? No, 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 no. Anything up here? Nope. Actually, what is this? I knew. Huh. Another newspaper. Cool. Uh, how are these shippies? They're doing pretty well, actually. Look at that. Seventh in the world for military power. We're not even fully westernized. We need more divisions, though. Armies. Whoops. Uh, actually, you guys can probably leave. Go ahead, uh, you can come down there, maybe, if I really wanted to. Just come to Amari. That's fine. Doesn't matter. Look at all that money. That's beautiful. Now we can tax the hell out of people. Good God, it's good to be Japanese. <sighs> or at least when you're uncivilized yet. Mmm, budget, budget. Oh, wait, hold on. Even now, with more efficiency for education. Still get tons of money. Love it. We're gonna need it. And I do have a cup of Japanese coffee here. Bill is just... Look at that money. It's so good. It's already 1844. We got a guy just kind of making sure that everything is pretty set okay. Ship's doing well. Guy's doing well. Having a great time. Look at that efficiency. Keep going up. Keep going up, boys. Another army here for... I'm going to create one here in mainland Asia. So we're going to build armies, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine. Now, to my understanding, Koreans here in our game, they want to rebel because, you know, they probably don't want to be under Japanese rule. So if they do rebel, part of the army units can rebel against us, which obviously isn't very cool. Let's go ahead and justify on Brunei because we can. Conquest, no matter how much infamy we take, we will still be okay because we're under three. Let's see. And actually, war justifications, 10%. Good. Come on, come on, come on, please. Do not get caught. Do not get caught. Now, I do know... God dang it. Well, that's, that's actually not, not too bad. That's not too bad. But, um, I do know that... Bef like, core states, or states that are not colonies, they do cost... Uh, it does affect your literacy, right? So, your ability to research things, so... Some would say probably that it's not good to take over a lot before you become westernized. Others would probably argue against it. I'm probably just going to go ahead and just take over as much as I can. Because it feels good, you know? We do what feels good. Awesome. And we have until August 4th-ish, basically late July to go to war, which is awesome. Because I want to rake in as much money as possible. <gasps> oh, upgrades. Four method training. 20%. We need 20%. You know what? Depending on how much research we can get from Brunei? I might consider doing that, actually. Hmm, delightful. Oh. China. China. What the heck? Three years ago, we were enemies, and now you want to be buddy buddies? Uh, 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 wait, Dainan, what's going on with you? What the heck happened here? Did you lose to La Laos or something? What the heck? Did you win? That's really disgusting. Oh, China. 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 Mm, I have no allies. I do want to take China out eventually, so I'm going to say no for now. Uh, so we have to wait until July, which is fine. I don't want this, just like I said earlier, I want research. Military staff sounds pretty cool. We'll do that or advanced, con excuse me, advanced constructions. Actually, this gives you more research points and leadership modifier, while this just gives you, like, research points and technology, but this also gives you technology as well, so I'm probably going to do foreign officer training, which will be fine. Hopefully we'll have enough research points before we go to war, so I can actually use foreign officer training. Uh, well, we might not. We can do it during the war, that's just, which is fine. I don't really care. Ships. <gasps> 55%. Are you guys repairing? Do you have a port here? <gasps> we have a port, guys. We have a port. Give me, like, another month. I want to see how much more we can repair on these guys first. 55% goes up to... No, give me one more month. One more month. One more month. I want to get to 100%. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh, that's so good. Alright, guys. Come on down here. Coast of Brunei. And we are basically there. Hello. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We, we come in the name of... Peace. Oh yeah, and we should probably raise this up. That might be good. Also, I'm joined here with my Japanese cat, Binky. Yes. Let's see. Ad hoc. Yeah, I mean, doing Navy stuff will be important for us. Let's see. Foreign officer training. That sounds like fun. Hmm. Ah, good, good. I The less text we have to focus on later, the better. Because, like I said, we're behind. And I can make Hussars, Dragoons... Kairasiers? I never know how to pronounce that. Never know. Good. Oh, quickly. Research. Kill them off. Take over the lands. Great. Uh, you might as well come over here. Blockade them. Thank you very much. Ah, Brunei. Oh, and we want to make sure that they can escape. And they all died. Good. Take the capital. That. This is... Honestly, really easy. Holy cow. Mm, someone's kind of injured. Whatever. Okay, less conservatives, more liberals, more reactionaries. That's fine. Whatever. Ah. Now that's beautiful. I could actually add war goal. Make a puppet. That doesn't sound very good. Ah. <gasps> Yay, we won! Good job, guys. Actually, we probably didn't get that many, uh... Where was it? You wouldn't get that many points. Hmm, that's disappointing. I only need 10% more, so... There you go. 
And we're westernized. Embrace westernization. Our country is under intellectual assault by modernity and the western world. In the fields of modern technology, industry, and military theory, the old traditions and institutions no longer serve us as they used to. Everywhere we turn, Western influences spread like wildfire throughout our nation, our population, and our souls. If we're to remain what we always have been, and not become something else entirely, now is the time to assume control of our own destiny. It has become apparent to the leading members of our intellectual elite that the only way to turn the tide on the Western Leviathan is to swim with it, for as Sun Tzu says, the reed that bends before the wind also offers a form of resistance. We get prestige. Oh no, we lose Maiji Restoration. No, we get a research point bonus gets hit. Oh, but we get reforms. These are the reforms we, have to get, we haven't seen yet. Very cool. Very cool. Ooh, state capitalism. And now I'm probably going to have to lower my tariffs a little bit, or taxes. Um, making a lot of people... Oh, you know what? Tax is rich a little bit less, perhaps. Oh, we still need more money, though. Can you take that out? It's going to cost a little bit more. Oh, I don't... Oh, no, no. Come back. Come back down. Mm. We're going to hurt our money just a little bit. We're not going to be at war for a while, so that'll be okay. There you go. We can do something like that. And since we have the money now, Brunei, Api... Uh, you know what? Do it in... Mm. I'm not sure if it's good to build a port in a jungle area. Probably not. Api seems pretty good in plain, so we'll do that there. <gasps> I can build forts. I can do technology. I can do cultural stuff. I definitely want research points, though. But make sure we have a good, good, good army. So I know, or at least I've heard, that you should do idealism or get as much philosophy as possible so you can research more things quicker, which will be very, very good. Next up, you guys are doing a great job. I'm going to keep you guys here. Uh, supply is pretty darn bad in some of these areas. You'll be fine there, though. Brunei, stay there. Awesome. And immediately, we have atheism in Japan and reactionaries. Well... This is why I have you all down here. Which tells me I need to build up more generals, more armies. Nothing like a standing army to keep people down. Uh, oh, I can build factories here too. Oh my goodness, now you're going to see how ignorant I am in this game. Cool. You guys, clergymen, grab another clergy dude. Now, I want to make sure that we can build factories w intellectually. With a little bit of smarts. Which my words are not portraying right now. Eventually, I do want to build forts everywhere, but I know that takes a lot of money, a lot of steel, whatever. God dang, we're ninth in prestige. We're almost oh, secondary power already. Holy cow! Did we win another battle? <gasps> Wait, hold on. Oh, I need to reorganize all this stuff. Oh my goodness. That's okay. That's okay. Cool. War between Portugal and Omen. Mmm, Portugal. Are you taking Omen from me? That wouldn't be very cool. Actually, how much will it take for me to go to war with these guys? I can... Oh, I can demand... Oh, yes, yes, yes. I can demand concessions. Yes. So from here, we're going to go ahead. So we have one horse. So we want a ratio of four infantry brigades to four infantry brigades, one horse brigade of some sort, and then five artillery pieces. So, I'm going to go with one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to make like ten at a time, just so that we can replace stuff up here, and we have much bigger armies in. Oh no. Oh no. We got people who are unemployed. Oh god, no. I don't like that. Unemployment? Oh, I mean, I guess that makes sense since we're building canned goods. Uh, I usually just, like, say, hey, you know what? You need money? There, go make a factory. That's usually what I say. I know it's not ideal. Whatever. Oh, I want to build up in Korea, though. We have iron. What can we build here that requires iron? I can make more canned goods. Cement? I mean, that's okay. I don't think there's really much that we can build. I need to research more stuff, of course. Yeah, we definitely need to keep up on it. Do a lot more with industry. Good. Kill them all off. It's a bunch of savages. Reactionary savages. That's what they are. Oh my goodness. I can't believe we've already... Uh, Westernized. Oh, that's so good. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna spend. We're gonna spend time making our armies basically as perfect as I can possibly get them. In the meantime, what the heck are you doing? Oh, your artillery. Oh, I see. I see you. Good. You know what? You're gonna do it like one, two, uh, four. That'll be good. You come here, to Busan. Oh, you're gonna need a boat. Boat, 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 boat. Cause you know what? 
I might just go toward Dynam now. That might really be worth it. Well, I... <gasps> We're a great power! Holy crap! <sighs> Japan, land of the rising sun, for many years since the black ships of the Gaijan first appeared on our shores, our nation has been sailing in the wake of powers greater than and beyond our own. With our recent ascension to great power status, the tides of fortune have now turned. From now on, let the winds repulse and break any foreign wave that dares wash over the sacred shores of great power of Japan. We lose militancy, and we get a little bit more prestige. Wow. Just wow. Alright, let's see. Oh, actually, don't remove that. Four. That'd be okay. You guys come up here. You guys are filling out more artillery pieces, which is great. So we need four more artillery pieces here. Uh, let's... One, two, three, and Korea, hello. Yeah, these are kind of mixed divisions, whatever. Mixed armies. It is what it is. Um, go over here to Nagasaki. That'd be fine. Look at that money. We're still getting so much money. Militancy is so low. Consciousness is so low. Oh, yes. Raise that up a little bit more. I lowered tariffs too, even, to make people a little bit more happy. This is really kind of imbalanced. Take out two. Great. Leave. Because you guys are looking pretty darn good. So, shippies, come down to Brunei. I do want to leave one army here, just in case. Uh, we're going to need five more artillery pieces here. We have two. How about we get three more so we can help up that other army out. One, two, three. Good. Oh my god, if I go to war with China now, they'd just get just smacked down with artillery. Come on, more research, more research. Also, our population's looking pretty cool. We're mostly Japanese, with a quarter of our population is Korean, which is, you know, whatever, that's cool. Clergymen, that's good enough there. Uh, remove focus. Kanto. I feel like I'm playing Pokemon now. Let's see, clergy, cool. Edumacation, please. Edumacation for the people. Actually, I'm going to shove you two together. Or you three, I guess. Look at that. Now that's nice. You guys come up here. You guys come down here. Um, to save on resources a little bit, I'm going to just delete one of these groups. Four. That's cool. Awesome. And we got so much money that, you know what? It's probably not worth doing. We can build a lot of forts. Which, I know it takes so much resources, so much money. And I know you don't want to build, like, factories early game, but I kind of feel like it. It's probably a bad idea helping these guys out, but I want at least a little bit more of an industrial score before we get too much. Oh, pluralism. Okay, sounds like that might hurt us someday. So we got plenty of bombs there. You guys come down here. Oh, actually, you know what? You guys... Don't come down there. Let's get... There you go. And then we'll ship you off. Oh, look. More guys. Hello. Sorry, it's a lot of micromanagement right now at the moment. Ah, oh, good, 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 good. You guys can combine here. Cool. You guys come down. And we will begin justifying... And you know what? We could probably afford a war with Dynam. Not gonna lie. We could probably afford a war with China now, too, since one of our groups have has a ton of artillery. You guys still need more work. You guys are okay. We need... Mm, yeah, we're gonna need more artillery and stuff. And Korea's all a lot of boys to use. Hmm. Hmm. We can get rid of half of you guys, too. Split in half. There you go. What's the other half look like? Uh, you know what? Ooh, you know what? You guys come down here. You guys come over here. Because we want to build this guy up, and he needs five cannon thingies. There you go. Look at that money. So good. So good. And Brunei. Forts. And we almost have idealism. Great. 
Research points. I love it when it's paused and we can do stuff. Introspection. Ideological thought sounds like fun. Malthusian thought. Oh, I want more education, but we gotta wait a little bit. Experiment with the railroad. Don't I already have that? I already have railroads a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and grab army professionalism just because I know tactics are probably the most powerful thing in the game for army stuff. So we get more morale and tactics, which just will blow the hell out of our enemies for a while, especially if they're primitives. We have army score of one. Love it. Love it. No, do that. That's okay. Four. Select you guys. I guess the other group. Yeah, whatever. You guys will be fine down there. We have... Oh, oh, actually we have 40. That's not bad. Cool. You guys come over here. That's looking pretty darn awesome. Alright, so we're ready to go to war pretty, pretty much. Two armies. That's pretty good. We can siege stuff down at a time. Oh, I want Dynam. Oh, Dynam. Baby, give me you. Remember, kids, infamy is just a number. Let's see. You guys are okay. We're still building up more military stuff. Yep. Yes, we are. Awesome. Oh, man. That was, we were caught fast. Holy cow. And... Oh, Dread Scott versus... Oh, Slavery. Cool. Slavery. Uh, regular clothes? Sure. Oh, anarcho-liberals. Oh, my goodness. Ah, oh, Bavaria, why? Hey, look, we got factories already. Nice, that's kind of cool. I know you want to build states with inputs that can be used for factories, and those output of the factories can be used for further inputs of other stuff for other factories. You just want to stack, like, appropriate things in each place, which I know I'm not doing. That was fast. Holy cow. So we can go to war in July 20th, basically early July, late June of 1850. I can't believe I'm a world power. Oh, we also have some diplomat points. Oh! Okay, so someone else has been really busy in Europe. Hello, Germany. I can't... We're, we're above the Ottomans. Holy cow. Oh, uh, just do this. That's fine. And use one more. Uh, Russian Empire? Uh, United States? Eh, yeah, why not? I can't wait to see what happens here. Oh, we're having a good time with Mexico. Ah, oh, Dixie culture. Ah, oh, don't forget African American or Afro American culture too. So we gonna need a little bit more money for the uh, good old budget here. Gonna need a little bit more of that too. I want to lower my t lower some of this stuff, but it costs so much. And eh, we're okay for now. We're okay. You guys are good to go. If there, if there's a rebellion down here, we might go to hold it off. Maybe, maybe not. And what's going on with her? Okay, so we're finally getting more stuff here. That's cool. Can I build anything else up? Uh, more forts, I suppose. That'd be fine. Good, good, good. Gotta keep an eye on our colonial power limit as well. Hey, look. More divisions. Love it. You wanna keep an eye on supply limit too, because that's really important. Hey, look. More liberal part support and some anarcho liberal support. Good. Let the infamy go down. Let the infamy go down. Money, money, money. We are three industrial score. Love it. Friggies. Hell, Hegelian idealism. What prestige? Cool. Come on. Oh, we got that. So good. And let me go and grab. Engineers. Ooh, I do want to get... Ooh, yeah, I want to educate our guys as much as possible. Let's do that, too. Actually, do we have another... We almost have another 30 sec. I'm going to go ahead and put my guys in the water. And China's not going to like this. Hmm. That's okay. We're pretty stacked here in China. For now. Uh, actually, you guys... Yeah, do we have any more Korean boys that want to join the... Nope. No one wants to join the army. Okay. We have the Radical Faction now, and demand concessions. Cool. 10 million core manpower, it looks like, or so. And we're there, cool. Hello, we come to take everything from you. What do we want? We, not doing conquest, but... Kokin, China, Vietnamese, Laos. Well, let's see. Let's take a look at the regions real quick. Dainam. So, Kokin, China, which has uh, some smoky stuff, some tabacky. We've got some silk. Ooh, make me some bugs for silk. Cotton. King cotton. We've got a little bit of that. Oh, and tropical wood. Now, I do know, apparently, I've heard, that if you get tropical wood, it eventually turns into something called ruber. And ruber sounds like fun. 
So I think I'll take Cook in China if I can. If I can. Hmm. I guess I'll take Cook in China, I suppose. Eventually, I do want to take them all out. That sounds like it's going to cost me quite a bit, though. This might be a bad idea. The French might get involved eventually. This is probably a really bad idea. That's okay, though. We'll deal with that later. Cool. Thank you very much. And we're immediately at war with China and Burma. Hmm. Oh. We have enough money to afford more forts. That's good. Ooh, and actually ships. Come back up here. Blockade that area. Take our ships back. Come over here. Man, you are fast. Come to Saigon. Just come here. Yeah, I wanted two armies down here just because it, it takes so long. It takes so long to do this stuff. Cool. And you'll be going this way. I'm just keeping an eye also if the Chinese are trying to, like, invade me in certain areas. Because that's not cool. It's never cool. It's never cool to invade friends or stuff like that. Oh boy, that's a big old army. Alright, so you guys are down here. Oh, don't do rebels for now. If we can... I'm gonna let take that first, and let's gangbang the Vietnamese. Now that's pretty sweet. Alright, both of you, let's come up here, and... Oh, oh boy, we're losing parts of Korea. That's not good. And the Chinese have showed up. You know what? We're all going to show up here, and we're going to blow the hell out of you. Cool. 24,000 men lost. And they're doing the same thing down here. Well, keep killing them until they're dead, I suppose. Nice. And kill them all down there, too. Actually, take both of you just for funsies. Alright, so the Chinese. Chinese. Uh... You guys come up here first. I'm gonna blow them all to hell. That's great. Let's grab some more army tech real quick. Decision making stuff. That sounds even better. Let's come down here first. You should be able to take these guys out fairly okay ish. If you're independent. Plurality, good. Oh, they're gonna take that tile. That's not good. Good. We killed them off. Very nice. So many dead guys. You might... Yes, you should be able to win. We have a numerical advantage already. Just go and take that back. Good. Put you guys down here. They shouldn't do too much else up there. Now, we gotta focus back down here. You guys do that. Uh, no, no, no. Where are you going? Um, That's really fast. Sure. Sure, why not? I know it takes a while to go back to do truces with other places and stuff like that, but that was that was really good. That was actually really good so far. I mean, maybe I should have waited longer, but you know what? We got what we got out of this war, and I'm feeling good. Let's build a port in Saigon, build some forts up there, and we can lower our budget for military spending and national stockpile. But I'm going to have to end that episode here, my friends. If you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow as we continue to expand across Asia. And we might end up in Africa tomorrow, or the Middle East. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.